let's face it, comic books are really weird sometimes, aren't they? From super weird super villains to super odd superheroes, there's just tons of craziness pouring out of our favourite titles from every single panel. But things get really weird when you start looking at comic book doomsday devices, because these, well, they really push the boat out on how to end all of life. So let's take a look at them. As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are the 10 strangest comic book doomsday devices of all time. Number 10. The Infinity Gauntlet One of the many things that the MCU brought to the big screen was its version of the iconic weapon of universal destruction known as the Infinity Gauntlet. In the MCU, this was the ultimate weapon sought after by the mad titan Thanos, capable of wiping out half the universe with just a snap of his meaty fingers. And while many of those horrifying qualities are still in the comic book version of this Gauntlet of Doom, it honestly isn't as impressive a weapon as the movies would have you believe. The most important difference between the MCU and comic book versions is that the gauntlet in the comics isn't even made of metal. Instead, it's some sort of leather or cloth-based design, which makes it look less like an impressive universe-destroying gauntlet and more like a plumber's glove with some discount chaos gems glued onto it. Overall, the Infinity Gauntlet was impressive when it first appeared on comic book pages, but after so much time has passed, it just seems weird that the universe hangs precariously over the cliff of despair every time somebody fits their hand inside this massive accessory. Number 9. War World DC is no stranger to creating entire worlds that are themselves weapons of mass destruction. From the iconic home worlds of Krypton and Apocalypse, DC is full of planets that can invoke dread or hope at the sight of them. However, War World is one of the most unique planets because it's not just a floating piece of rock where the bad guys live, it's actually a mobile weapons platform that is under the control of the maniacal alien tyrant known as Mongul. War World is a weapon of pure destruction, virtually indestructible and capable of disintegrating entire solar systems with any of its futuristic weapons. When it was originally constructed, it had to be used psychically by its creators. The strain of trying to use it drained everyone on the planet of their life forces, meaning that the people who built War World never actually got to use it. The planet has gone through several owners and iterations, from joining the Sinestro Corps to at one point being rebuilt on Pluto. But at the end of the day, it's still a strange thought to look up at the stars and wonder if any of them are inhabited by beings who might be building a giant planetary killer that will someday try and blow us up. Weird. Number 8. Molecule Man Comic books are chock full of superheroes and villains that could easily use their powers to destroy the Earth. Iceman could freeze Earth all at once, Superman could just like sneeze us into the sun, and let's not even talk about Black Bolt. But it is interesting when there is a single man living on Earth who has the power to destroy the entire universe when it's activated. Sadly, that was the sole purpose of Owen Reese, aka Molecule Man, who started out as a pretty mild-mannered man until a severe accident while repairing an atomic powered device turned him into Molecule Man. This accident gave him the power to alter the molecular structure of anything in the universe. But it turns out that the accident was an intentional manipulation of the device by the beings known as the Beyonders. They created Molecule Man in every single universe with the intention of blowing him up to see what would happen. He was given powers solely to die and take the universe out with him. Which in itself is not only a weird thought, but it's also pretty dark. Owen has been many things in his lifetime, a hero, a villain, a madman, and finally, a bomb. When he did in fact go off after being manipulated by Doctor Doom into killing his own creators, the Beyonders, this ended a 55-year-long story arc and reshaped the multiverse forever. Number 7. Lex Luthor's Doorknob Doorknobs do so many things in our world. They obviously open and lock doors, they catch on your shirt and jumper when you least expect it, ruining them, and sometimes they open up the source wall of the multiverse, bringing about the end of everyone and everything. You know, the usual things you'd expect from a round piece of metal. In recent DC comics, the world-famous megalomaniac Lex Luthor becomes more and more certain that humanity is doomed no matter what we do and should be destroyed along with everything else in the universe, and he believes that he can do so with this doorknob that actually belonged to his father. At first, the doorknob doesn't appear to be anything that can destroy universes, it's just simply just a golden doorknob with the iconic Legion of Doom insignia carved on it. However, this deadly Home Depot appliance can actually shoot laser beams and is useful when bashing in the brains of the classy immortal Vandal Savage. These surprising superpowers are due to the doorknob being made up of the oldest energy source in the multiverse known as the Totality. The doorknob and the Totality are a way for Lex to discover the answers to everything in the multiverse, including said multiverse's creation, but can also be used to bring about the end of everything. Number 6. Soul's Hammer 
One of Marvel's darkest superhero teams was called the Illuminati, and has probably got one of the highest kill counts of any other group of heroes or villains. This super secret club was fielded by the best and brightest Marvel heroes, each of whom voted on how to handle several major problems the rest of the Marvel Universe just simply couldn't, like deporting the Hulk into outer space and gathering the Infinity Stones to keep safe from Thanos. However, the Illuminati's biggest trials began when the multiverse started collapsing in on itself, and the only way to save their world was to destroy the alternate realities that were appearing in the sky. To destroy the other Earths, the Illuminati constructed several world-ending devices, the strangest and least effective of which was Tony Stark's Dyson Sphere, known as Sol's Hammer. Essentially, it was a giant satellite that harnessed the power of our sun and fired that energy in a laser beam that could put the Death Star to shame. Overall, Sol's Hammer was a super deadly but, but rather super ineffective weapon that charged so slowly that it only ever reached about 1% of its full power. This on Honestly, might have been a good thing though, because the one time that Sol's hammer was used, it disintegrated an entire enemy fleet of spaceships and also tore a hole into the side of the moon. Number five, Black Lantern's power rings. In the Blackest Night storyline, fans were introduced to the deadliest and largest of the Lantern Corps, the Black Lanterns. After the events of Final Crisis, the embodiment of death and the leader of these gothic fighters, Necron, arose from the dead, bringing with him an army of the universe's recently deceased. This army of the dead was filled with several slain heroes and villains, such as the Martian Manhunter and the Reverse Flash, each zombified and now wielding a Black Power Ring. The Black Lantern's rings also targeted resurrected heroes like Superman and Kid Flash, possessing them and essentially killing them all over again. The power of the Black Power Rings themselves is not quite as strong as the other emotional spectrums, especially since one of their weakness is literally the wielders having emotions, but they are nevertheless dangerous weapons to reckon with. Number 4. The Ultimate Nullifier one of the most devastating beings in the Marvel Universe is the iconic giant planet-eating man known as Galactus. He has been a thorn in the sides of the universe for centuries, so it came as quite a shock when he showed fear for the very first time at the mere mention of the Ultimate Nullifying. Not much is known about this device aside from the fact that the Ultimate Nullifier might actually be a weapon created by Galactus himself. And this is strange by itself since the Ultimate Nullifier can not only kill him, but it can also wipe out entire timelines or even multiverses if so used and it's suggested there's not going to be many repercussions for doing so. The ultimate nullifier seems to rely on user knowledge, concentration, and mindset. This means that thankfully there aren't many who can actually use it, but it also means that people who can use it, like Doctor Doom and Mr. Fantastic, could be the most dangerous beings in the universe with this in their hands. And this is why it's so strange that the weapon really doesn't look like anything special, appearing more like an altered dog leash than a weapon, but still, this thing right here, it's the deadliest thing in existence. Odd. Number 3. The Anti-Life Equation the anti-life equation is surprisingly simple in its use, even though the level of mass destruction it causes is extremely unique. Unlike most doomsday weapons, the anti-life equation doesn't kill or destroy, instead it converts the minds of the entire universe to serve the will of whoever solves the universe's most important equation. Obviously, there is only one in all of DC's multiverses who seeks this ultimate power, which is the iconic supreme ruler of apocalypse known as Darkseid. While Darkseid is a force to be reckoned with, his final weapon is a rather strange one for not being a bomb or a gun, but instead simple lines of math that can change the entire universe. Now, math is actually a pretty powerful weapon in our own reality as well. In the hands of intelligent people on our little planet, it could change the very future of the human race by changing the environment, launching us to the stars, or even creating super robots able to make our lives simpler. However, when you sit down and think about it, math ending all life on the universe is very strange indeed. Number two, Professor X's brain. Mutants in Marvel comics have had to endure so much prejudice and hatred from their less powerful cousins, also known as humanity. They've had to battle rogue mutants, armies of deadly robots, alien armies, and celestial beings of untold destructive power. But even the X-Men's worst enemies could not have foreseen what would have happened after the death of the mutant kind's beloved leader, Professor Charles Xavier. Professor X is one of the most powerful mutants in the world, due not only to his impressive intellect, but also thanks to his array of psychic superpowers. Powers that can control the actions of thousands of people, speak to anyone, anywhere, and of course, locate every mutant across the globe. Of any supervillain that could have possibly gained possession of Professor X's powers, a literal Nazi would of course been the worst choice. Now, a brain is definitely a powerful tool, but the Red Skull turned it into the world's most devastating weapon of hate, literally removing the Professor's brain only two weeks after his tragic death. 
The professor's brain was used by Hydra to then completely turn humanity against mutants. Even after the Red Skull's death, he was able to return using the professor's brain and continue his terrible fight against humanity. And number one, the Squid Monster. The original story of the Watchmen comic book is heralded as the most perfect superhero story ever written. However, one thing about this acclaimed comic that some readers have always tended to question is the biological weapon used by Adrian at the end of the story. In his grand plan to halt nuclear Armageddon, Adrian decided to use the threat of an alien invasion to create a worldwide alliance against the imaginary threats of outer space. To enact this deadly plan, Ozymandias assembled a team of the world's top engineers, scientists, and comic book artists to create a terrifying alien squid monster. Admittedly, the squid was an effective but totally bizarre weapon, proven capable of wiping out an entire city in order to bring about world peace. However, the monster itself literally didn't even do anything except die when it teleported into New York killing millions and distorting the minds of millions more with psychic waves of fear and despair. It was a very clever plan, but uh, ultimately a very weird one. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 of the strangest comic book doomsday devices, and say it with me, kids, of all time! I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice. It's where I do all of my streaming outside of work, and it'd be great to see you over there. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.